Cheers. Good afternoon, Hilltop families. Hope everyone has enjoyed a wonderful week. This has been another great week here at Hilltop. Would love to give just a few highlights. First, uh, our first through third graders got off campus this week. They went down to the growing stage in Netcong. In this age where schools are trying to save money, I know that a lot of arts programs have been cut. We believe in the importance of doubling down on the arts. Uh, hi, I'm Simon. Uh, I'm in first grade, and I went on a field trip this week. We went to a um, growing stage to see a play called Madagascar. First, they told me about the actors. Then they showed us about the lights. So we got these students down to the growing stage. They saw Madagascar. They had an opportunity to go backstage. They had a Q&A with some of the actors. I think it really helped to bring the arts uh, to life for these kids and help them, them see maybe where they could be one day. Thanks to the beautiful weather we've had, our students have been outside an awful lot this week. In fact, our faculty staff meeting yesterday was also outside. I think that it's really important for kids to learn about the outdoors. Right? Thanks to Janet Bigland and our fourth graders, we've got an incredible outdoor classroom. But it's also important to just get outside and be a kid. I know that our pre kers they've been studying the letter X this week. So if anyone has seen a lot of X's around the campus, X marks the spot. That's what it is. Kids rolling down the hills, it's just been, it's been a lot of fun. Wednesday evening, I think about 22 students joined me and my family at MindFit right here in Sparta for an incredible night. Uh, MindFit, they share the belief with us that there is a direct connection between academic performance and, and health and wellness and physical fitness. So it was a great time for our students to, to work out. They were on the rowing machines. They were doing pull-ups. They were doing rope climbs. And then they were also messing around with 3D printers, drones, and coding. It was an incredible night, so thank you to Mike Fancher and the MindFit team for, uh, for opening up your facility to, to me and, and to the Hilltop families. Uh, dovetailing off of that, on Thursday morning we had another healthy uh, tasting. Thanks to Lynn Rogers, our incredible nurse, we had some dried foods, uh, dried fruits, I'm sorry. My favorite was the dried apricots. And I'm excited to hear from our kindergartners on Monday morning uh, what the consensus was for which dried fruit was most popular. Finally, our upper school, they have been working diligently on creating literary anthologies that are actually going to be published in Scholastic Magazine. They got Laura Petrie, you know, she, she confirms with the kids what I've learned for a long time. There is no such thing as good writing, only good rewriting. So it's been great having the kids do some peer editing, submitting things to Laura. She, you know, covers it in red and different suggestions. Have you thought about it this way? Even though there's this move towards the importance of technology, we also believe in the importance of good writing and communication. I think that is going to be universal. Then I, I just wanted to express my gratitude to the many parents that have made this week, Teacher Appreciation Week, incredibly special. If anyone wants to make this happen on a weekly basis, that's okay with me. I've been enjoying the fruit, the bagels, the coffee all week, but we, we really do appreciate the recognition and it certainly makes all of this, uh, it's nice to be appreciated. And of course, during Teacher Appreciation Week, I, I always reflect on the important teachers and coaches and mentors in my life. I think it truly is a calling. This is not just a job. I think the sacred job of a teacher is supporting, championing our kids, and also, also challenging them, pushing them to their limits, helping them see themselves in a different light, helping them try things that maybe they would have never tried before. So to the folks on my team here, I am incredibly grateful for the work that you guys do on a daily basis. So thank you parents for making this a very special Teacher Appreciation Week. I wish everyone an incredible weekend. Excited to see everyone Monday morning. Don't forget, next Friday night, the Sussex County Miners, we are singing the national anthem. Let's make sure we turn out numbers, and it's going to be an incredible night. All right? Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.